All right, so we're headed into town this morning. It's about 8 a.m. And we're gonna climb Mount Yote today. Look at it! So I think this year, we're gonna try to climb it more than once. We had a ton of snow yesterday, so we're probably just gonna try to climb to the top of tree line. Um, and I think we're gonna snowshoe this time instead of split board. Uh, we're hoping that some people got out a little bit earlier than us today, made a nice uh, boot pack or uh, split trail. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head up and hopefully get some world-class waist deep pow. Hike, okay. Yeah, last time we started at like noon, <laughs> so we, did, we ran out of light, uh, so starting a lot earlier this time. Alright, so we just got to the trailhead, TJ's flying his drone. Everyone's getting their stuff ready. Gonna be snowshoeing up. Got my uh, got my beacon on. Uh, we are gonna be bringing all of our avalanche gear uh, just in case. And um, yeah, we're gonna be hiking up Mount Yote. So we're at the trailhead. We're about to send it up, up, up Mount Yote. In Japanese, Mount Yote is translated to a goat's foot. We used to think it meant mini Fuji because it looks so much like Mount Fuji, but after further research, we saw that it actually means a goat's foot. Yote's award. What do you think, Kevin? Yeah, Bo, this is exciting, man. We, uh, we got a bit of a head start from last time. Got the snowshoes instead of the splitboards. I'm, uh, I'm excited. It's good for the top. Yeah, boy. I'm already sweating. We're just now at the trailhead. <laughs> the car's still in sight. It's about one third of the way up. You start to see the peak way up there. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna be out of the clouds for our ride down. So we're taking a little break here and I want to let you guys in on a little little key secret, major key if you will. The rice ball. Rice balls are clutch. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way. Good. So we're officially higher than we were last year. I think we're probably like a hundred, a couple hundred yards higher than last year. And look, we're so close, so close to that peak. Oh man, the views though. So you can see, there's the Sea of Japan. See, those are actually islands out there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm hot and tired, but we're getting after it. Right, TJ? Right. Don't throw that at me. You gonna eat that? Someone's right there. There's Kevin and Chris. They got a little bit further ahead of us. We stopped to take, stopped to take a food break. What you have, TJ? Had a nice little rice triangle and a candy. I think they're called rice balls. I don't know why TJ calls them that. He's, he's not very cultured. I mean, it's shaped like a triangle. But the views up here, pretty cool. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna be riding out in the dark again, but uh, doesn't get much better than that. 
Next stop, the bottom. At the edge of the earth, before you jump, before you curse, the world you come from. When the sky is dark, it was empty or stars. And the edge of a blade could end who you are. Riding out in the dark. Where does this rank on your runs in life? Dude, up there, top three for sure. Same. Oh, oh. that was on his back. Like, save me! <laughs> <laughs> Here's the car. And we went all the way to the peak. What an epic day. A lot more adventures coming soon. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I hope I will make all your dreams come true with all the adventures coming soon. Lots more Japan. See you next time. All right, so we're back in the car. What do you think, boys? Yeah. Oh man, that was epic. That man. was one of the craziest things I've done on a with a motorcycle. Yeah. yeah, dude, just the. I'm so tired though. Oh my god. The timing of the drop and the terrain we got up there. We got like two sick gullies. The snow was insane. The trees were good. I am dead though. I'm a, I'm a beat man right now. Holy TJ, Chris, and I we stuck together there, there from the peak to really the base. And uh, I don't think my back leg has ever hurt that much from snowboarding. It was basically one run that was like 10 miles long. Imagine what yeah. myself later. I think the run took 45 minutes. 45 minute run through Pow, Chow, and some pump tracks. Oh my god, I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Yep, same dude. I'm dead. Dead. <laughs>